Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, you are watching the August bonus video. This video is going to be a makeup for the July must-have of the month. Previous video was for the August must-have of the month. And for this video, I'm going to try something that I've never done before. And I'm kind of excited about it. Kind of nervous, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so the last video, I showed you guys how to make some um, vintage looking tags. Well, for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make some vintage mulberry paper. And like I said, I've never done it before, so we're going to see together how this comes out. So let's start with a small flower. Just take some spray and put it on the sponge and then rub it onto the paper. I'm not sure, like I said, how this is going to come out, so if it looks bad, don't blame me because I didn't know. But you have to remember that mulberry paper is extremely porous because it is actual unrefined paper that hasn't gone through the entire process of traditional, you know, printer paper. So it's probably not going to take the glimmer mist as well. It might actually leak through the other side. We'll see in a minute if that happened or not. You can see I'm just dabbing right now. Trying to get all the corners. Okay, this is what it looks like after I have kind of weathered it. I guess it worked. That's pretty cool actually. So I took, um, a flower that looked like this in the beginning and I turned it into this. That's really cool actually. I like that. So I guess you can with mulberry paper. I'm going to try a different color. See how it works. I can try a mixture of colors. I'll try some gold and some suede. See how that works. like to try new things, but I'm never really sure how they're going to come out, so I don't know if it's good or bad, or if it's going to come out okay, or look like bad. I can't say the word I want to say, but you know what I mean. Um, I don't know about this one. This one's kind of just a different shade. I took it from, oops, I took it from this to this. So I mean it's darker, but not really weathered. I don't know. I think those are just different shades. Still pretty though. Still good for projects. Um, marshmallow. Let's try that. Maybe that'll make a difference. Let me use it on pink. See how that works. Marshmallow one's kind of leaking a little, so I don't know how this is going to work. Yeah, it's kind of leaking all over the place. I don't know why. It's like the cap is clogged or something. I think I'm 
gonna try and just put a little bit in this bunch. Plus the pump's not working. So I'm just gonna dump a little bit of the coloring of the pad. is pretty. It's just kind of like glittered. It's not really different in color. It's just kind of got a shimmer to it. That was my cat, if you heard him. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty. I like that too. So, we did answer the question. It definitely does give them a vintage look and some more than others. Wow, that was the cat. Uh, he's getting a little attention deprived, I guess. Sorry about that. Um, but the um, Glimmer Mist does give a vintage look to mulberry paper. It definitely does what we set out to do. I'm really proud about that. I definitely think this was a good use of time for the bonus video. <clears throat> and, oh, I wanted to try one more thing. I think I want to try doing a flower with all the different colors. So I'll do that quick, and then I'll finish up. Take one of my big ones. I have all these flowers cut out and I never know what to do with them, so I guess I'll just add them to cards. I don't know. But, like I said, when you work with, like, different materials, it's really hard to not get yourself really, like, drenched in paint and drenched in coloring and drenched in all that stuff. That kind of comes with the territory of playing around with stuff. You have to be able to get dirty and all that, so... That's what I came to learn after I started doing different things. You can't really be really into doing um, scrapbooking or card making and not be able to get dirty. So that's the layer of gold that I put on. Let me put on the marshmallow. This I'm going to have to do again with the sponge. I don't know why the pump's not working. It's probably clogged or something. So this is the marshmallow coloring. I like how that shows up on here a lot. You need to realize that. It's so cool. It just gave it like a, a sheen. Really pretty. Now I'm gonna do the suede. Kind of interested to see how this comes out. Definitely like it though. Not something I don't like. Just very different. Let me show you how it came out. This is with all three colors in one flower. So you can see the change it went through. 
I'll show you the plain one. It went from this top one. You can kind of see it. To this. Definitely darker. Definitely more of a darker sheen to it. It's so pretty. I love it. Well, thanks for tuning in to my bonus video, guys. I will try to be more on top of uploading my must-have of the month. Um, please remember to check out my other videos and message me if you have any questions or comments. Thanks. Bye.